in today's video I have a Primark haul for you. I don't think I've actually done a specific Primark haul on my channel before. I've done bits and bobs of Primark but I've never done a Primark haul in general and I feel like that's what my channel is missing. So here I bring to you a Primark haul. I hope you enjoy. So as you can see me and Holly hit up the Oxford Street Primark and it was a lot of fun trying to find bits and bobs for you. Um, I had the opportunity of going to the Primark Autumn Winter 15 Press Day event thingy my bobby and they were generous enough to give us a gift card to go and enjoy in the Primark right next door to where the event was located which is very convenient. Um, but yeah thank you just big hugs to Holly because if it wasn't for Holly I probably wouldn't have gone to the event so that was really nice. Um, but anyway I just can't wait to show you what I got so this is the day infomercial thingy I'll show you that down here. we'll move to that later so let's just dive straight in shall we? One of the things that I spotted in the shop that I was like, oh my god, is this real? Is this clutch bag? And it's just a pink clutch bag that just says flirt along it. And I like how it's not obvious. Like from far away you'll be able to tell, but I love how it's just kind of just like embossed, if that makes sense. Like I like how it's not um, in a different colour because I think that would look a little bit tacky in a way. So I quite like this. It's a decent size and it's got some gold metal clips on the edges. This was £6 and the reason I was like, oh my god, they actually have this clutch bag, which I just think is so, so adorable. It's it's just awesome. Like, flow. But you could be in the club and like, I don't know. <laughs> but basically on Instagram, like, a few months ago, I think, Primark posted a picture of this clutch bag and I regrammed it and put it on my Instagram. You can go have a stalk on my Instagram, the links will be down below and you can, but and then you'll believe me that I regrammed this and I was like, okay, well it's destiny. I regrammed it, that means I have to have it. I just think it's awesome. It doesn't have, does it have an extra pocket? It has one extra large pocket on the inside that you can probably put your phone and your secure things that you want to keep nice and secure because it's got extra zip as well. Um, I just think this is so cute and would be amazing just for like a summer party and could give a nice block of colour to an outfit without being too overbearing just because it's kind of like one block colour. So I really like that and that was £6. Another thing I picked up which is not something that I really would tend to go for and it's this mesh t-shirt um, which I wouldn't, I don't know how to describe it, it's not mesh but it's like completely see-through, it's white, it's v-neck, it's quite long with an asymmetric hem um, and it is completely see-through and it has like holes in it and it's made of like a really weird material but I spotted this and I could just imagine myself wearing this with that white bralette I got in my last haul from Misguided um, or any bralette in fact, just wear that white bralette under, underneath and then with some high-waisted jeans and then this on top and that way also I don't feel so self-conscious if I lean to the side and it kind of like rolls over or whatever. Um, just, I don't know, I just think this is such a cool little piece. I've never I've never really been attracted to things like this before because it's quite kind of like sports luxe if that makes sense. But I just, I can imagine myself wearing this quite a lot this summer. Although could you imagine the tan lines with this top? Because it, as you can see, it's completely see-through. Like, hi. Um, yeah, I just thought it was really cool, and this was, was, that was really weird, this was £10, so, bargain, of course, and yeah, I just thought it was really cool, and it looks like you could get it in Topshop or something, so it looks a lot more expensive than it really is, which is always good. The next kind of little item I have to show you has a little bit of a backstory to it. Um, so me and Holly were kind of browsing up down, and it says, Outfit of the Day, which is such a blogger top, come on. If you're a blogger, you need this top in your life, it just, it's just awesome. It's a really nice material, it feels really nice, it just says outfit of the day on it. I got this in a size 12, so I wanted it to be slightly baggier because then sometimes I can wear it to sleep and stuff when I run out of pyjamas. Um, I just thought this was really cute and if I'm feeling super casual I can wear this with a pair of jeans and some trainers. Not that I wear trainers very often, but I can put some trainers on and then I'm good to go I just think. This is hilarious. Um, but anyway, we were walking like up the stairs to the next level of Primark and I spotted this from the stairs and I was like, I need that top in my life. I don't think she saw the top we were talking about and then we went downstairs and we got it. She was looking at it and she found um, her size because the whole day when we were walking around Primark, Holly couldn't find her size anywhere. Bless her. So she got this really excited and I was like, I've got to have it too. I don't know. <laughs> um, 
but yeah I looked like underneath the rail and managed to find a size that would fit me and now we have the same matching top cute <laughs> I think that's quite cute anyway I decided to pick up a kind of like a basic item because all the clothes that I've been buying recently apart from like a white bralette and stuff like that aren't really kind of things that I would describe as basics and you need basics in your life so I picked up this Bardot top which isn't really a crop top but it's not like a full length top if that makes sense so it looked quite nice kind of just tucked under high waisted shorts or skirts or jeans or whatever you wanted really it's just a simple ruched Bardot top kind of just sits on the edge of your shoulders Nothing really fancy smunchy here, all of it is elasticated, so the sleeves are elasticated, the shoulder part is elasticated and so is the kind of bottom part of it if you'd like. Um, you don't have to wear, this isn't completely off the shoulder top but I'm going to because I like off the shoulders and also when I have off the shoulder things it's quite sad but it shows off my tattoo so I like to do that. Um, but you could just kind of have it like this if you also wanted to but I just figured it's white, it goes with everything and got to have it and the price of this was was that's that weird was again was four pounds can we just talk about that for a second this top was four pounds awesome if you're a new viewer to my channel we obviously don't know each other very well if you are a long-term viewer you may or may not know um, and also if you're one of my close friends and you will know I have a sh an extreme obsession with Reese's peanut butter cups it's quite it's quite bad um, I could easily just eat my um, body weight in Reese's peanut butter cups in one sitting no word of a lie anyway um right so I figured this top would be perfect for me um it's a Reese's peanut butter cups top there's not really much else to say about it it's a plain t-shirt with the logo on it and I saw it and I had to have it in my life. I could have bought something more practical, I could have bought a nice pair of sandals for for like summer days, another like small bag for work or even some underwear, some new underwear or something practical but um, I thought you know what, I like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, I need this in my life so that's what I did and I'm really excited. Is that really sad? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Because when you see your obsession on a t-shirt, you have to have it. You're like, yep, yeah, seen it, eat it, bought the t-shirt. Next, nothing fancy, just got some wee knickers. The pink one, the mint one, and the purple one. They were £2.50. Nothing wrong with those, gonna need those. Um, and at the tail, I also picked up some Harry Bow straws as well. And the last item I have to show you is actually what I'm wearing right now. Um, I will do like close ups and stuff of it, but it is a full length jumpsuit with kind of halfway sleeves, which I like because it's not too long, so you don't get too hot in the summer, but it's not too short that it just doesn't look right. Um, it has buttons all the way to the top. Obviously, you can get a and area to be shown um, but I would suggest wearing a low plunging bra with this if you're going to kind of unbutton a few buttons just because of the way that material folds and also if your boobs are anything above a B like myself um, or just you're quite blessed in the bosom area I would suggest getting a safety pin or something just because the way the material folds on this dress and um, jumpsuit even when I wear a bra and I sit down, in between like where the buttons are, the bit in between like where the biggest part of my, my breast is, <laughs> why am I saying this on YouTube? <laughs> the biggest part of where my boob is basically, it has like a little hole that I have to kind of like adjust myself every so often. So with this jumpsuit, I absolutely love it. I would just say if you're gonna get something like this from Primark and you're blessed in the booby department, just either invest in a safety pin or a very low plunging bra. Um, but it's amazing, it's full length and I just think it's so, it just doesn't look like it's from an affordable high street, I think it's from, it looks more like River Island, kind of sorry to me, to me personally I think anyway, um, and it was a grand total of £13, I'm not joking, £13, I couldn't get over it, I saw this hanging up like on another hanger that wasn't supposed to be there, check the size, it's like a size 
I don't know, it was a bit, way bigger size that wouldn't have fit me. And I was like, oh man, maybe it's the last one, maybe it's sold out everywhere. And then I looked around and saw a whole new rack of them just come out. So I'm really excited. They also have like another alternate colour of this. I think it's like a blue version, if I remember rightly. Um, but I absolutely love this. By the time you see this, there will be a blog post where I've styled this in my own little way. Because um, I went and shot that today. So I will link that down below if you'd like to go see how I styled up this jumpsuit. Um, that is the end of my Primark haul guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it gives you some little kind of insights to see what's in these stores right now because I love watching Primark hauls, I've just never really got around to filming one because when I do Primark hauls I do tiny bits at a time, it's not really enough for a haul so yeah, if you'd like to see more Primark hauls, then give this bit video a big thumbs up and put a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It would make my day and week and month. <laughs> um, and apart from that, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.